state spends millions of dollars on school lunches, but how much of that food is actually eaten? KITV4's Paul Drews details the, fe the recent federal requirements and how they're leading to waste. At Kaula Vela Elementary School, some students scarf up their meals during lunch. Today's lunch, which is the macaroni and chicken, they enjoy that. It is one of the healthy meals the school serves up under federal guidelines, which require more fruits and vegetables than in the past. Before the Healthy Hungry Free Act, elementary students were served up three-fourths a cup of fruits and vegetables each day. But now they get three-fourths of a cup of vegetables plus a half cup of fruit. And by the time students get to high school, they're served one cup of fruit and one cup of veggies. But like many parents know, it's hard to get kids to eat their vegetables. Veggies tend to be the number one not eaten thing on the plate. In fact, a state study found that unwanted vegetables, grains, and even entrees added up to 50% of the lunch being thrown away, and not just at Kaulavela. For our elementary school, that's pretty accurate. That's kind of our anecdotal data and what we see day to day getting tossed. Part of the problem is schools are required to serve up the same size portions to kindergartners as they do to fifth graders. Older students can opt out of taking all five healthy choices for lunch, but younger ones can't. Each school day, there are 100,000 lunches served up, which adds up to $30 million in costs for the state each year. With so much of the food, especially vegetables, being thrown away, what can be done to save the state some green? One of the ways schools could cut down on the waste is to install serve yourself fruit and salad bars, which have seen success in other cafeterias. But schools have found it difficult to put them in older cafeterias like this one. Another way to meet the government requirements and reduce waste is to sneak vegetables into sauces, like the broccoli in this chicken pasta. In order to serve up just what students want, the state would have to opt out of the federal lunch program, and that would prove too costly. Giving up federal subsidies like some nationals or some districts have chosen to do would be huge. And we're talking about, again, another $30, $40 million in reimbursements from the, from the federal government. The state could limit lunches to the most popular meals, but instead schools want to give students a variety to encourage them to try new things. So lunches are rotated through a 25-day schedule. Why is such an emphasis put on providing these healthy meals at school? For some students, right, our lunch or our breakfast program provides them their hot meal for the day with 80% free and reduced lunch. So oftentimes, the best meal does come from school. At Kaula Vela Elementary, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. Even though school lunches are currently deemed healthy, there will be more changes in the future. Federal guidelines will slowly lower how much sodium will be allowed in meals. In eight years, the current amount will be cut in half. 